in the beach. Honestly, the situation is very tranquil. Despite the hype on the internet that says that uh, Rio de Janeiro has become super expensive, unaffordable, etc., I found there are several uh, cheap options. So if you are uh, the backpacker type, uh, the, uh, the traveler on a budget, um, don't worry too much. If you don't mind staying in hostels, there are several hostels in Rio de Janeiro that have uh, dorms for less than $10. In Ipanema and Copacabana, there are the touristic areas. You can find a bed in a dorm for 10, 10, 15 dollars. In the upscale hostels, the ones that have a swimming pool, a bar, big social areas, you will pay around 20 dollars. So um, it's not so expensive. If you want a cheap private room, you can have it for 20 dollars. Again, probably 20 dollars not in Ipanema or Copacabana in other areas of Rio, but you can find them. A good area that has uh, good prices and, is, and it's uh, safe and more or less central is Botafogo. On my first two days I was staying in Botafogo. I was staying in a hostel actually and I paid ten dollars and the hostel was pretty good. And there you can find uh, private rooms for twenty dollars, sometimes even less, okay? Then, if you can afford it, so if you have money, if you wanna spend and can spend, of course you find any kind of prices. You find also luxury stuff, luxury hotels, um, an Airbnb. Airbnb depends, even there you can find maybe 20, 25 dollars for a private, an apartment, the cheapest is around 30 dollars in Copacabana, Ipanema. 30 35 dollars so it's not very expensive guys we are in Ipanema we made it to Rio de Janeiro look at that look at that Talking about food, in Rio de Janeiro you don't have the super cheap uh, food that you find uh, in other Latin American uh, destinations. There are cheap restaurants, the equivalent of the comedores in Spanish-speaking countries, which means there are restaurants with very simple uh, uh, furniture, uh, just some tables, and in these places you can have meals, even Copacabana and Ipanema, the dark touristic spots, you can have it for around eight dollars, seven, eight dollars, which is a pretty good price, okay? Um, there are medium range restaurants, they will cost around 12, 15 dollars per meal, they demand the tip, so they actually put the tip, the 10% in the bill, even though in, uh, in Brazil it's not um, mandatory, the tip, you can also not tip. Well, in this other medium-range restaurant, the food often is not good. In the cheapest places, the food is simple but good. Then, of course, there are the more expensive places. In those cases, you have a wide range of prices, a wide range of uh, different kind of food. You find anything in, in Copacabana and in Ipanema. Go in the water, guys. Ipanema Beach. Ipanema. Oh, fuck. El perro, el perro brasileiro. This dog, this dog name is Ronaldinho. About the supermarkets, uh, I don't have uh, very good news because the prices of the food in the supermarket it's almost the same of the prices you find in Europe. 
is cheaper, but it's not uh, a lot cheaper like uh, in other uh, Latin American countries, uh, talking about Colombia, Mexico or Paraguay. In Brazil, uh, good food in, uh, in, in all supermarkets, okay? Mm, there are not cheap supermarkets. They, they more or less have all the same prices. And we are talking about comparing to European prices, they probably just 10, 20% cheaper but still of course if you can cook uh, it's a good option uh, for saving money Now it's 6 p.m. as you can see, it's almost sunset because the sunset in Rio now in December is quite early, it's around 6.30, 7 and uh, the situation is pretty quiet. I mean, you see that I don't spot any particular danger. On the internet you see a lot of people going mental uh, for the safety, for the danger of, uh, of Rio. But talking about uh, Copacabana, Ipanema, there are the places where we are supposed to be. If you come here, okay, in the beach, honestly, the situation is very tranquil. It's very tranquilla, okay? Tranquila. So, we're gonna have a walk to Copacabana, which is uh, slightly different than Ipanema. It's okay, you will see, you will see how. Talking about safety, Copacabana uh, and Ipanema during the day are perfectly safe. Uh, the stuff you read on the internet about uh, don't walk with your cell phone in your hand, don't pull out your cell phone in, in public, those are absolutely urban legends. Uh, Copacabana and Ipanema are normal places with a lot of wealthy people walking around. There are families, elderly people, you can use Google map on your phone if you if you if you get lost if you are looking for a direction in Ipanema and Copacabana you can walk really really relaxed and I I tell you I didn't see anything strange and I didn't even see I don't know dodgy people I mean there are of course the usual beggars there are the people living in the streets but they don't seem uh, aggressive they don't seem uh, uh, threatening so really on the beach, uh, the same. Even here, there are a lot of hype uh, and a lot of uh, word of mouth that uh, in Ipanema Beach, in Copacabana Beach, you, you will get robbed. So, I heard stories of uh, gringos, so tourists uh, getting robbed in the beach, but with my eyes, I didn't see any, any guy who looked like a thief. I didn't see any, any kids uh, running around trying to steal uh, your, uh, your towel or your, your flip-flop or your, your backpack, okay? You see how people, they are just waiting for the, for the sunset. They stay on the beach, sitting there, enjoying, enjoying the moment. Of course, since everybody is paranoid about that, me too, I was going to the beach just with, with my towel, with my flip-flop, and that's it. So I didn't bring any backpack, I didn't bring any money with me, nothing. Because, of course, because of all the, the hype, because of all the, the, the stuff you read on the internet, I got scared too. But once there, honestly, I didn't, uh, I didn't, felt, I didn't feel uh, threatened, I didn't feel there were people trying to, to steal my stuff or wanting to steal my stuff. Not to me, not to other, not to other people. Uh, of course, I don't go to, since I, I went often alone to the beach, I couldn't bring my, my backpack anyway. But if you go with friends, uh, it's absolutely fine. But of course, 
don't go don't go swimming don't go in the uh, in the sea leaving your backpack uh, on the sand because with the money inside because in that case you are really making a big gift to the potential thieves okay so Copacabana again it's safe I didn't see any 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 guy you know uh, punching other guy I didn't see any kids uh, running around with knives uh, or, or I didn't see any 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 guys uh, on the motorbike uh, with a shotgun in their hand I didn't see any any guns so all this all this stuff you 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 hear about probably refers to other areas of Rio that are probably the favelas okay so I was there I saw it with my eyes the place is safe during the day Talking about night is a completely different matter. You absolutely shouldn't go out alone walking, okay? Don't walk in Copacabana, in Ipanema, at night alone. And I explain why, because in these areas, after sunset, everything shut down. Despite having in every building security guards, mind, inside the gate, but still, if you are alone in the street, or also if you are alone with your friend, which doesn't make much difference because if somebody arrives with a gun or with a knife you probably have to give up all your wallet, your phone, etc. So now you will see how people wait for the sunset. I tell you my personal experience. So one night I was in a, in a bar, there was an event with a lot of tourists and local too, there were a lot of people, it was a good party, there were people inside the bar and outside the bar uh, drinking, standing and chatting. But until 10, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., the place was completely fine. After, let's say, 11 p.m., you began to see uh, strange faces. You began to see faces you don't want to see, if you understand what I mean. Uh, guys that were, of course, they were local, but they were staring at people, they were staring also at me, and probably what these people do, they are looking for a target. They are looking for the gringo, then has the bad idea of walking home alone, and in that case, probably, most likely, these guys follow the victim, stop him, or stop her, because I know also about the girls, getting robbed okay they stop the victim and uh, and rob him okay this is what will probably happen if you are in this kind of situation still more if you are drunk still more still more if you are alone still more if you look lost etc 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 okay now we are going back once waiting guys now we are going back we go to copacabana okay this is where uh, copacabana ipanema Unite, okay? Where they cross. Now we go to Copacabana. When I was in this event, I was with a friend. Then the friend went to another neighborhood. He went to Lapa to party. I was tired, so around midnight, I went home. And my hotel was 10 minutes by Google Map by walking. So 10 minutes walking, you don't call a Uber, okay? But I preferred, I decided to call a Uber because I thought that walking alone was a bad idea. You will see that you will take a lot of Ubers in Rio, so Uber will become your best friend, okay? And um, yeah, that's it, okay? So don't walk uh, um, alone at night because I heard stories, I heard a lot of stories and I saw with my eyes these people. Because Copacabana basically has uh, larger roads, okay, the streets are bigger, it's more uh, car traffic, while Ipanema is uh, very walkable. Uh, in Ipanema there are also more trees, it's more green, while Copacabana is just larger. You have these big buildings, as you can see. They are hotel, of course. But Ipanema has uh, shorter houses, more walkable, as I said. The water of the sea in Copacabana is not 
clean like in Ipanema. In Ipanema is, is okay. The presence of the police in Copacabana and Ipanema is real. I would say almost it's massive because really there are patrols, there are uh, policemen almost uh, in every corner. I mean, look at that. You have two policemen there, you see, in brown, and there are two there. So really the safety for people here is it's absolutely a priority. There are many of these little uh, chiringuitos, the little kiosk on the beach that are restaurants, indeed. In the evening they play samba, they dance samba and it's, uh, it's very cool, it's very pleasant. Rio de Janeiro is famous for its crazy and very very nice parties. I absolutely recommend you to go. In Ipanema Copacabana, as I told you, you must know where to go, so you can't just walk around the neighborhood asking for a party. So get some information beforehand, check on the internet, ask to people, ask to people from your hotel, from your hostel, you will find a party for sure. You will see that uh, Carioca people, Carioca people are the people from Rio de Janeiro. Cariocas love to dance and they also, uh, you will see in this party, suddenly they will start uh, dancing all together, kind of in a synchronized way, as if they knew all the steps, they knew the rhythm, and then you will see in these clubs uh, where uh, suddenly 20, 30, 50 people will start uh, dancing uh, the same dance, the same uh, steps and that's, that's very carioca, okay? And that's very, very nice. Another neighborhood where you can go party, which is uh, quite popular, is Lapa. Lapa is uh, more or less the center of Rio. There are parties every day, bar, dance bar, concert, discotheques. It's a place that is not particularly safe, but there are a lot of tourists, so you can go, go with your friends, take a taxi, take an Uber do some bar hopping but always you know watching your back keeping an eye on your belongings a lot of tourists in Rio now in, uh, on Christmas holidays are from Argentina you will meet a lot of them one thing I should say is that Argentinian people when you meet them in their country they are the most friendly and sweetest and lovely people you can ever meet on earth strangely the ones I met here they seem a little bit snobby, I don't know why. It looks like the Argentinian who come uh, on holiday in Rio, they become uh, suddenly a little bit stuck, you know? I enjoy it. Last but not least, let's talk about girls. I know you wanna hear about this. Okay, let's talk about that. So, Brazilian girls and specifically girls from Rio. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta say one thing first, that people from Rio are considered a bit uh, different than uh, people from other parts of Brazil. Uh, one guy I met recently told me, you know, people from Rio are those kind of people who think, uh, always think they are a little bit smarter than you. And when he told me that, I thought, well, I kind of had noticed that. Um, there is this vibe, kind of, I'm cool, I'm too cool for school. I'm very, you know, I'm very cool, I'm very pretty, I'm very handsome, etc, etc, etc. But still, I mean, you can have a lot of fun with them. Also, consider that people from Rio, they are very used to tourists, to foreigners. So don't think that you arrive in Rio and everybody will greet you with a huge smile. People in Rio, especially in Copacabana, they are very money-oriented. So don't, uh, don't expect, you know, overly friendly people. I feel I can say two main things about Brazilian girls. The first thing is that they don't aim to perfection when it comes to appearance and beauty. Um, they are not obsessed with uh, skinniness, they, they are not obsessed uh, to have the, the perfect body. Um, I mean, if you are a guy like me who is used to girls from Ukraine, from Russia, from Poland, that are obsessed with the, the body must be in perfect shape, the perfect makeup, etc., etc., etc. Brazilians are much more relaxed. 
uh, they are sexy and and slowly you will start to appreciate that you, you will start to appreciate um, the way they are sexy okay of course their bodies are more curvy um, but they really have, uh, have their personality which is very peculiar and you will I'm pretty sure that, that you will learn to appreciate it very very quickly about the, the way they behave with you I can say one main thing they don't waste your time means that uh, if they like you they will make you understand they will let you know very quickly and very openly not verbally but uh, but with their behavior so that the body language so they smile at you they talk to you uh, look at you in the eyes uh, some uh, some some touching you know they touch you in your arm they give you a lot of attention they will have a, a warm attitude to you okay and if they don't like you they won't do that they will just probably ignore you they will be slightly polite just for the sake of it but nothing more than that this means that there is no there are no many strategies there is no strategy there is no there are no many mind games you don't have to do any any you know mental masturbation how oh, how can i behave how should i behave what does that mean it's very direct it's very open okay there is not there isn't a thing like uh, ice queen you know like in russia you know the the cold woman that maybe likes you but she plays a little bit of game a little bit of strategies no it's, there's nothing like that in brazil there's not even like in Argentina. because for instance argentinian girls they love like to to stare you know they love they love to to play a little bit with their eyes etc while brazilians they don't do that much they express themselves mostly by talking and body language so having a, a warm body language that's the way they are and i can guarantee that it's very very nice